To conduct a randomized controlled trial, a statistician will select a sample size large enough to produce a significant result. Care must be taken that the test subjects are properly representative of the target population and not tainted by selection biases that might skew the results. The subjects are blinded, knowing as little as possible about what's being tested. They are randomly and blindly assigned to one of several groups. There may be a group that will receive the treatment being studied, a group receiving an established treatment, and always at least one control group receiving a control or placebo treatment. Test administrators are also blinded. This is called double blinding, such that they don't know what group each subject is assigned to, and whenever possible they also don't know what the treatment is that they are administering. Everything is coded to avoid experiment or bias and to cancel out any effects like patients trying to respond the way they feel the experimenters want them to. The trial lasts long enough to satisfy the statisticians and the scientists. Finally, when the results are tabulated by a blinded statistician, this is called triple blinding, we get the results. The cloaks of anonymity are whisked aside, and we finally learn for a statistical certainty which treatments are effective and which are not.